Hey YouTube, what's going on? The Real T Dog here with another video. Let's go install these. We got K tuned pivot ball and spring for the shifter, the OEM shifter, and also the hybrid racing shifter base bushings. The shifter base bushings are basically, let's see, there's four of them. They are the screws that hold down the actual shifter to the chassis of the car. So, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. These are replacing, uh, I believe the OEM ones are like rubber, like a hard rubber compound or something. But you know, like all rubber, it, over time it you know wears out, softens, or hardens and cracks, whatever. When they wear out, they cause a little bit of movement in the shifter. I don't know if that's really an issue with the RSX, but I mean, replacing them anyways. And when I, in the future, get a short shifter, I'm gonna use these anyways for those. So, you know, whatever. The k tune shifter, pivot ball, and spring replaces the OEM spring and pivot ball in the OEM shifter. And this is supposed to remove any and all, like, slack and looseness shift feeling in the shifter. If y'all saw the walk around video, I showed how much play there was in that shifter. Y'all see this? So, this should hopefully eliminate all that. Without further ado, let's go outside and install it on the car. Okay, what's up guys, we out here in the driveway. There's the RSX, we about to do uh, the install. I mean, I guess I'll just say it now. I don't really know exactly what tools you need. I'll just say what you need as the video goes. It's, it should be fairly simple. The first thing you wanna do though is remove your uh, center console. All right, there's videos on how to take off the, uh, the center console on, on YouTube already. But real quick, first remove the shift knob, then take a flat flathead screwdriver or pry tool, this little panel, plastic panel with the 12 volt plug-in right here and right here on the up opposite end. This little slots to put in uh, either a flathead uh, screwdriver or a uh, pry tool of some kind. And that's where you uh, pry that out. Uh, don't forget to unplug this outlet and then behind your center console in the back there are two screws one on this side over here and one on this side over here you have to move the seats to get to them but remove those and then if i remember correctly what you got to do is remove this just remove this pry it off and the whole thing should be able to come out. So let's give it a shot. center console, you gotta unplug that. Make sure your, uh, <laughs> your center, your uh, parking brake was all the way up. All right, so here we are. We're gonna do the base bushings first. Yeah, 12 millimeter socket or wrench, and there's four of them. So let's do that right quick. Second thought, let's do the pivot ball and spring first while it's free. 
move this part. There's a spring. And you gotta move this over to the side. Well, it's not gonna stay there. So I'll do that off camera. And then you remove this pin. We have to twist it. I think. Yeah, twist it, I think. And then you can remove it from this this little you can remove this piece off of here off this uh right here so yeah let me get to it there we go so right there is the pivot the pivot ball and this is this whole this whole spring we're gonna we're gonna replace. To remove the pivot ball, all you gotta do is turn it one way, and look, uh, it, it just pretty much falls out. And then the spring, it's pretty easy, just like that. When putting in the new pivot ball, it goes in exactly the same way. Be sure to throw on some automotive grease or something to keep this, this thing lubricated. Now the spring, pretty simple. Put it on like that. Put that end in that, that little uh, space right there. You just bring this around to the front. And then we just put it back in like we did earlier. Now that that's done, uh, time to go to the bushings. Um, all the bolts are out. I'm not really sure how to really get them out, but we'll see. All right, let me figure it out. <laughs> these stock base bushings have these metal uh, sleeves in the center of them. You just gotta push them out from the bottom. Alright, so it's actually a little simpler than I thought because there's no finessing it whatsoever. It's pretty much just brute force where you uh, get like a screwdriver or something and you dig into the side over here and push it out like from the top. It's really hard for me to do this uh, recording and, and even with a tripod you won't be able to see this but trust me like get your screwdriver, dig it, dig it into the side of it and uh, just push it out from the top. It provides four washers that you put under the shifter, if I'm not mistaken. One of the bushings goes inside. Screws with a provided lug, with a provided uh, lock washer goes into the top. <laughs> All right, guys, this little segment is recorded the morning after. I installed the uh, shifter base bushings and I was going through the footage and then I realized that the shifter base bushings, it just didn't seem right. Did a little bit of Googling and I was pretty sure I put them on upside down. So here I am the next morning fixing that. As you can see, the washers are on top. The base bushings, they come in under the shifter. Then the washer through this little inlet and then the mounting bolts with the lock washers. I feel really dumb, but <laughs> but hey, it's corrected now, I think. So the only thing that would make me mad right now is if, is if I was actually right the first time, because then I would have to switch this back again. But I'm pretty sure this is right. So there, there you have it. That's how they're supposed to be going on. You make a dumb mistake like I did. <laughs> I'm not gonna test drive it, because it'll probably feel the same as I did last night. Plus, I'll be test driving it on the way to work today anyway, so... Anyways, back to last night's footage. Alright, got back from my little test drive. And, uh, I gotta say, it is a lot nicer. The throw isn't shorter, obviously. But it's a lot more direct. 
a lot more positive, you know, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it definitely amplifies the crispness that I was feeling when I put in those uh, shifter cable bushings. So this was definitely worth it as far as OEM, upgrading OEM uh, shifters go. And also like, there's a little bit of play, but that's mostly because like, look, this uh, shifter cable has a lot of uh, play in it. And that's where you get all the play from this. If that was like zero tolerance, this wouldn't move. Oh, and the side to side, barely none, barely anything. But yeah, it's uh, whew, a lot better. All right guys. That will be it for this install. As you can see, it got dark. I started this a little later than I wanted to. So please hit the like button if you like this video. Share it too. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, hit that notification bell so you could be up to date with you know, more videos I, pu I put out for this car. And you know, in the future when I start doing more videos with the Vulcan S. But other than that, you know, thanks for watching and peace.